month. And whether you are planning your first ever run or you're a seasoned endurance runner, it is important to stay hydrated. In Health Watch, Shelly Botot helps us recognize the signs of dehydration and overhydration. When you're working up a sweat, one of the most important things you need to remember is you need to keep hydrated, but you have to do it correctly. Many people are getting ready for race season, but when you hit the treadmill, you should also hit the bottle of water or sports drinks. Proper hydration strategy is critical for all athletes. Dan Reznicek is a physical therapist at Aurora Bay Care Sports Medicine. He says becoming dehydrated while working out can cause excessive thirst, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke. To uh, muscle uh, cramping. Uh, they could also include a uh, mild headache, uh, dizziness, or even something as, as severe as uh, uh, fainting or a loss of consciousness. A general rule of thumb. For an athlete uh, to consume about eight fluid ounces uh, per 20 minutes of activity. If you're an endurance athlete, like a marathoner. Activities uh, that generally last longer than 60 minutes uh, should be including some type of sport drink uh, in addition uh, to water uh, to replace uh, critical uh, electrolytes that are lost uh, through sweat. A good way to replace those electrolytes is by grabbing a sports drink, but you can overdo it, which also isn't good. It's one of the consequences of overhydrating especially with sport or electrolyte drinks, is gastrointestinal uh, distress. Endurance athletes need to drink both sports drinks and water because drinking only water can deplete electrolytes and cause water intoxication. Dizziness, uh, imbalance, slurred speech, um, and more severe cases uh, could actually uh, lend themselves uh, towards loss of consciousness. Reznicek says proper hydration strategy should be personalized based on your activity and sweat rate and fine-tuned during training. To learn more, you can call Aurora Bay Care or email healthwatch at auroraBayCare.com. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News. Thank you, Shelley. Well, it's a major risk factor for disease, and most of us consume way too much. Tomorrow in Health Watch, how to lower your sodium intake and improve your health. Turning now to consumer news, Toyota and Nissan have recalled six and a half million more cars because of potentially faulty airbags. The same airbags are the reason why tens of millions of cars have been recalled recently. It's feared these airbags can explode and send shrapnel flying at drivers and passengers. At least five deaths have been linked to these airbags. The cars.